Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies, and today we are going to complete New Game Plus. As you can see, we are here with Adventure Mode level five, six, only a couple more levels to go before we are done. We've gotten the entire game finished twice over. And you can see for our custom stuff here, we have, or at least I guess Crazy Dave's Challenge, we have the pumpkin, the Colonel Pult, and uh, the Marigold. So we're gonna go ahead and do double sunflower again. We'll do flower pot. I'm sorry if my choices haven't been all that innovative. It's just tough to really make work, you know? Um, I definitely think we were going to, with the catapult zombie, want some kind of umbrella action. So maybe we'll just do umbrella melon pult. Something like that might be good. I think that would be fun to try a snow pea. Because we had the kernel pulled as well. So if we sort of mix together all that kind of stuff, really have some slowdown with that, I thought that'd be pretty good. And then of course we get the melon pulled in there afterwards. If things get nasty, we can... I think we should do cherry bomb. I know that we don't have, uh, what's it called? We don't have potato mines, but I think that's okay. Yeah, is that okay? Ooh, I think so. Cause I, just for the sake of something being different with the snow peas, right? I think it's sort of a must have at this rate. Um, we'll, we'll try this. We have the pumpkins for some extra protection. Maybe things will go well, maybe they won't and I'll cry. I don't know, I probably won't cry though. You know, it's okay to lose sometimes. You learn from it, you move forward and you apply your new things you've learned. So with that being said, let's hope that we don't have to learn too much. We can just apply the knowledge we already have. But I'm so excited to be able to get New Game Plus behind us, you know? It, it took me a little longer than I would like. It just takes a lot of time to record this, especially when it actually takes more allotted time than the actual original story mode took because each round has multiple flags instead of the, the rounds earlier in the game having less. It's like they all have like two, three, four flags, which is much longer than the original game, the original story mode. So that's why it's taken so much work to get here. So I'm so glad we're sort of coming out on the other side now. Like, all right, we, we did it, not just me, we did together, you know? So that's very, very cool. With that being said, we got our first zombie here, and I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. I'm just gonna keep on getting more sunflowers out as soon as I can so that I can get another kernel pulled out as soon as possible for the next zombie, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get another sun from one of you guys, please, thank you. And then put it there, and then get these two and put that there. Can I get one more sun from something? Even the sky will work. Ooh, got it, nice. Okay, so we're, we're starting to get those sunflowers out quite a lot now. Okay, so there's two rows of sunflowers done. I should probably work on kernel pulse before I get any more sunflowers, because eventually I'm gonna start weeding them out for umbrellas. It's just a matter of making everything work. Just might take some time. Need another kernel pulse now, though, so whenever he's ready to go, I actually do have him ready. It's just, or I have enough sun for him. It's just a matter of I didn't have enough. Uh, we still are charging. Like, that's how quick we're making sun right now. So that's really, really nice to know. For right now, we will work on a third uh, setup when it comes to a uh, third row of sunflowers. I thought like that'll be the best possible situation. But now this guy ain't looking so fun to deal with. So I'm thinking maybe we can change that plan just a little bit. Get that snow pea out there. Get a sunflower there. Is this dude gonna eat this sunflower? Please don't, please don't. I just placed that. Uh, at least she made one little bit of sun before she got taken out the poor thing. Okay, so the combination between the kernel pole and the snow pea seems to be pretty effective against the cone head, so that's nice. Let's go and do our final kernel pole and then do our final sunflower for sure. Don't know when the uh, catapult zombies are going to start showing up, but I'm trying to be ready for them. I think, yeah, yeah, I should probably put a snow pea down. I mean, it has a pretty quick recharge, but getting out as many as I can, as soon as I can, is always going to, going to be a good idea. All right, so there is our second cone head of this round. So what I'm gonna do is that and that, get these two. But the triple layers of sunflower is really, really productive. At this rate, we're gonna be able to get whatever we need. Basically no problem, which is great. Okay, um, so yeah, we will have to try to figure out a way to get marigolds in this. I'll probably just plop one down at the last second or when things are looking really secure. But for now, I really gotta work on what's way more important. And then same thing for the pumpkins. When we need them, we'll place them. But for now, I don't exactly need them. So I'm thinking we will do umbrellas wherever I can. Oh, that's probably not a good spot for an umbrella. I think we need to do here, 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 and here. Yeah, that's gonna be smarter. So let's try that out. And I know we're not making as much sun because of that, but that's just life, I suppose. We need to be able to be protected and we gotta sacrifice some stuff for it. I guess I can put a sunflower here for now then, because it's gonna be a little while before I want to start putting up those melon pots. I do want to, this is gonna take some time. 
I mean, I guess I could have, uh, I don't know. I guess I could have kept the sunflowers and then put something, uh, that would be a little bit messy and a lot of work. So I think it's fine how it is. We have, the why I'm worried is we have some crossover, right? Both this umbrella and that umbrella are covering this and that's not really that great. But hey, it is what it is. It's not the worst thing ever. Let's put a melon pole back that way. Now every plant we have out is protected by an umbrella. So at the very least, if those catapult zombies start popping up, which I'm sure they will in a moment, it really isn't the biggest deal ever. The only problem now is that if I could earn up more sun, that'd be great. So I might actually make an initial sort of defensive wave of some flowers. That'll help us get some more sun. Just so I can get a melon pole every, every lane needs at least one melon pole to start and then move on from there. That's probably gonna be my best bet. Then once we get another full lane of these guys, it should be fine. It should be a lot easier at the least, so yeah, things are going our way. Okay, oh, here's our first one, and it doesn't really matter what he launches at, we should be protected. The only thing is that if he runs over anything, that would be a problem, but with where he is and what he's trying to do, I don't think that's gonna happen. He's not gonna move, because he doesn't really move any farther. I don't think these guys ever go past these first two lanes, so as long as we don't have anything there, I don't think he's gonna run anything over. He's not like a Zamboni. Which, hey, we might start running into. You never know. I don't wanna run into Zambonis on the roof lanes, or the roof level at all, but it, sometimes it happens. I think we ran into that during mini games, I think? Or maybe that was, uh, that was like survival, I think. That was crazy difficult. That was insane. Okay, so uh, yeah, lots of stuff going on here. One thing I didn't check, I didn't check my Zen Garden, if we have enough space for new plants. I would sure hope so, but I actually don't know. So, might wanna check that between the next couple of rounds, but uh, for now, oh, accidentally clicked off the game. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so, we got rid of that catapult real quick. So at this point, we're just sort of accumulating wealth, which is good. I can just put a pumpkin there. <laughs> just so I can say I've completed Crazy Dave's challenge. There we go. Don't really care what happens to that marigold. We have done what we needed to do for the challenge. I mean, I really like it when I do have the room to incorporate Crazy Dave's cho choices into the strategy itself. And I feel like I've done that as much as I can with the Colonel Pole. But obviously you can't do that too much with the Marigold, especially with how difficult these levels are. I'll keep trying, but the chances are it's not gonna get me too much farther. Okay. We'll try to get more pumpkins out just for extra protection because there's some, the front row sunflowers are not protected by the catapult zombie. So, you know, being able, being able to protect them with some other things is always good as well. I don't think we're gonna need another set of melon pults. I might wanna be prepared for it. Gosh darn it, keep clicking off the game. But at the same time, it's not really my biggest worry. I could do some marigold stuff once again, just for fun. Really isn't gonna do anything else though. All right, well, since we're waiting around anyways, might as well get another melon pulled out. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now, gotcha. Put that down. And then we have another pumpkin, we'll put it here. There we go. So we have three out of the five pumpkins I want up. We're still working on the marigolds, there you go. See, these catapult zombies, they can't stand a chance against us right now. Well, we're doing great. So, you know, the umbrella really does destroy anything the catapult zombies could possibly do. They're not really like the zombonies at all in their threat level. I feel like zombonies are definitely a worse plant to deal with. I mean, of course, it's, it's a tough strategy to try to incorporate the umbrellas into everything, but overall, it isn't that challenging to do. So, yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, so we're waiting for another marigold. Might as well put another plant pot down. Look at all these coins coming in. Not bad, we're making a profit. That's always good. There we go. So we have two here, one here, two here, one here, two here. So still need to put two more melon pots out if I could ever afford it. Don't know if I will be able to. In the meantime, we got like our last marigold, our last pumpkin that need to be figured out soon. But we're about to hit our last huge wave, so we might just have to deal with what we got which isn't you know, too bad of a deal. Got all the pumpkins. Just wanna make things look as enjoyably symmetrical as possible for now. <laughs> That'd be nice. So get our last marigold and perfect scene. Well, we're good. Just picture perfect. No, the marigold! Don't do it! Now you're ruining it all, darn it. Oh, I'll have to put another one there. You know what then? You know what? Get out of here. I'm, I'm done seeing you. Oh well, it's not symmetrical, but who cares? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so our first round of the day is done. Level five, six, only a couple more left to go, and then we'll be good to go. Oh, we got the bungee zombie and the catapult this time, so it'll definitely be a must have to have the uh, thing. So we only have one space, so I wanna change that up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and sell these marigolds for whatever couple thousand it ends up giving me. Just so that I have room. I don't think we're gonna get any more than five Zen Garden plants in today's episode. So back to five, seven. Definitely gonna get the sunflower and then the imitator sunflower, flower pot, uh, umbrella. Oh, there's a lot we could do here with the ladder zombie and, ooh, didn't mean to do that, and the catapult zombie and, I mean, well, the answer for the catapult zombie and the bungee zombie are the same, but it's, it's that ladder zombie that makes things tough. We do have a bit more of an exotic option when it comes to everything. We got the star fruit, the repeaters and stuff, so I think that we definitely need to pump out sun as fast as possible. Get the flower pot, potato mine, umbrella. Really go defensive. That's something I wanna focus on here. Really going in on the defense. Um, with that being said, what's the next best bet? I think it might be, oh, so hard to say, but I think it actually might be like, I feel like it's really foolish just to dedicate an entire set of magnets rooms just for a ladder zombie, but it's totally worth it at times too. So I think that we will go for that. We're gonna go full on defense with everything because we already got enough with everything else, you know? So that might work. I mean, maybe it's not even worth it. What if instead I just made like an army of star fruit on the flat part of the roof? That way, even if they get over something, like who cares? They'll just get destroyed anyways. Um, that might be worthwhile. So try that, and then lastly, if there's anything else we can do, it's gonna be what? We could try twin sunflower. I mean, I don't know how long of a setup this is. Of course, we don't know if it's three flags, four flags, two flags, one flag, until we get into it, so. I feel like backup cherry bomb would be smarter, though. So let's try that out. Backup cherry bomb. I don't have any kind of catapulting plant, so we can really just dedicate the back end to being sunflowers. So let's see how that goes, ready? Got it. Okay, so there's our first sunflower down. We won't now. Oh, I don't have a rake! No! It's <laughs> gonna be even more difficult. Thank goodness we had the potato mines. Should have just done a normal sunflower there, would have been faster. But thank goodness we have the normal potato mines, or we would be in so much trouble right now. Did I say normal potato mines? There, there's no other kind of potato mine in this game. Don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Jeez, we would have been in so much trouble. There was no way I'd be able to earn up that much sun that soon if I want to go the double sunflower setup. Okay, got it. Not bad. I need two more sun though. Come on now, game. Come on, spit it up. You can do it. One more, one more, one more. Got it. Thank you. There's another one and another one, so another sunflower for us. Almost got another potato mine for this guy, that'll be great. So we're already working on our second setup of everything, which is nice. Okay, sunflower, grab that. I'm like misclicking like crazy right now. Start working on some plant pots down that way, because we do need to work those up. And then we also have walnuts, which I'll try to find a will and a way to make that work. Okay. But right now I think triple sunflower lane will be really nice and sort of work out to the best of our ability. And when it comes to everything else, like I could potato mine that guy pretty easily, I think. The wait and see. So I don't know what we want to put back here. Like that's sort of another thing. Like I mean, we know, I know we have to do some stuff soon. Like I know we need to do the umbrella. So maybe we could do that here. Hard to say, it's, oh, it's so tough. It's so very difficult to really figure this out, but I think that, yeah, maybe something like that would be fine. Um, I need, if I'm, I'm potato mining you, I gotta do it soon, so actually at this rate, I'm gonna potato mine. No, not what I wanted to do. Okay, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a two for one deal. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get it, that stinks. That puts me at a colossally bad position. I'm gonna put a walnut there, and I gotta change my whole strategy because of this. I'm like making major mistakes right now. It is awful. So, sunflower there. And you just beat up that cone head as much as you can for as long as you can. Um, and then we're putting an umbrella there. Putting this guy here. Putting, oh boy, I don't like this one, but. This music causes me, causes me so much stress for so many reasons. And this is one of the reasons. Oh boy. Come on, come on, got it and then sunflower. That way, you know, we have this selection protected, which is nice. You're gonna get potato mined, which is glorious. Uh, in the meantime, like we're making major sun is a big thing. We're making major, major sun. 
Uh, I gotta just put down flower pots whenever I can, as often as I can. And of course, repeaters. Repeaters are good. So like, we have like four and a half rows of sun, or three and a half rows of sun, which is really good. There we go, okay, good stuff, good stuff. So at this rate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably uh, flower pot umbrella again, and that might seem silly, but hear me out, hear me out, it's gonna work. It's gonna work, I think, maybe, <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so this guy's a little scary. But we could do is every other lane, make sure there's a star fruit. That should work out pretty well. So at this rate, like we've already used the walnut once as sort of a backdoor protection. So I think we're pretty good with that at this rate. I'm going to do this, do that, and then we'll probably pumpkin the star fruits for now. Like that seems like a good idea to me. Um, we're coming up on our first flag, so let's make sure that anything I want protected, which is really this, you know, front half is protected, and right now it is, so that's very nice. I mean, maybe I could have pushed the umbrellas one spot farther up. I mean, I'm doing really good on sun, so I could do that now, is do this, and then star fruit back here, because, you know, these guys are already being protected by these ones, so we're sort of fine with that regard. I don't really care about the sunflowers in the back, they get taken out, we'll just replace them. Okay, so star fruit here, and then, oh man, I wish I could just, if, if there was a perfect world, I would imitate both the, uh, Sunflowers and the flower pots. That'd be so good. So this sunflower did get taken out. Once again, it's not really that big of a deal. Just place another one. Um, so what I need to do is flower pot this. Put this there, star fruit here. And look at all this. Now we got some major damage coming out and that's gonna be really good. And we're just gonna make, um, I know it's dangerous to put stuff here because the catapult zombie will probably take it out. We'll just squish it. So we're not gonna push out that far just yet, but maybe we should experiment when we're really good on sun. Okay, so I guess we don't really need pumpkins back this way if we have stuff coming up on the lane in front of it. So maybe a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. But I feel like we made actually, like this is what I'm talking about. We formed a really nice solid strategy out of all of this. And that's really what I was looking for. Hey dude, hey dude, dang it, you're a stinker. You're a major stinker. Can somebody beat this guy up? Umbrella's gonna save us there. He ate that, that star fruit twice. He better have a full tummy. As far as I understand, star fruit are really expensive. Yeah, that guy's gonna get bounced. So the bungee zombies at this point, they're trying, but they're failing. So as long as we, yeah, like that's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but at the same time, I could set up some umbrellas now. It doesn't matter though, it really doesn't. Just beat these guys up whatever way we can. See, I don't know if he would get ran over here, but probably, we'll try it, we'll try it. I won't put too much into it, you know? Okay. Hmm. I think that will do some, uh, not potato mines, pumpkins. Sort of see how that goes. But yeah, at this point, we're just saving cash. I mean, there really isn't too much more I can do. If I put pea shooters repeaters back here, they're just gonna get a, they're just gonna hit the roof. We don't have any kind of catapult plant. So this is actually you know, succeeding with the challenge that we did in the previous episode, finishing a uh, roof level without doing any catapult stuff. Let's see, will that get run over? Oh, it doesn't. Nice, okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and start setting that up. I mean, maybe I was just lucky timing. Guess we'll find out. Do, 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 do. Is he gonna get run over? He doesn't, that is perfect. Okay, so now we got even more we can do. I thought we were about at the end of our rope when it comes to you know making successful plays here. Not quite yet, we got a little bit more uh, juice left in the tank. Got it. And got it. Okay, so let's do what we can here. We got two more flags to survive, that's crazy. And this is a four flag round. It just takes forever at this rate. Wonder what the final boss is gonna be like. It might be crazy difficult. I mean, I know that we've already done the mini game final boss, and that is practically the final boss, but more difficult, so I don't know if this one will be even more challenging. Look at us, just destroy that guy. Starfruit are the best. Now, if we put anything else any out farther, I know it'll get squished by the catapult, so it's not really worth doing that. We tried one walnut, that's all I needed. It really doesn't help my strategy beyond that, so I just like to keep it how it is. So, those two in the front are gonna get bounced. This guy in the back isn't, but it's easy enough to replace, so not worried about it. Go ahead and do that. But we have plenty of a powerful combo here to survive for as long as we need. We got two cone heads on the bottom, so I definitely wanna put that pump in there to protect it. It seems like it was a good idea, too. They definitely would've eaten that star fruit. They're eating this one. Oh no, poor star fruit. Poor star fruit. Here's another one. 
Come on, get rid of this jerk. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. He's about to eat that flower pot. What a, what a jerk. What did I say? Oh, hey, here we go. Zen Garden plan. Not bad. Hopefully that'll be something fun. We're on the roof, so maybe it'll be like a kernel pulse. Maybe we already have kernel pulse. I don't remember. I hope we, we, we don't. That way, if we get one, it's new. Oh, come on. They're really starting to eat through stuff now. They're throwing some heavier, heavier stuff for sure. Uh, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do that. Gotta replace the star fruit up there as well. Might have to just start potato mining soon. You know what? Not potato mining. Boom, doing that. That's what I gotta do. Okay, well, it was worth it. Uh, need to do this, that. I really need another pumpkin soon. But that's what's nice about, uh, oh, don't eat that umbrella. That's what's really nice about the uh, pumpkins, is that if they just go over one thing, we can put the pumpkin there and protect it still. And a lot of the stuff we have is relatively low cost. Now that we got the repeater set up, like a lot of this is not hard to afford. So, star fruit are fine. And we got 2,600 sun. Like we're doing fine. Plenty fine strategy. Could be better if it wasn't for the catapult zombie would just squish anything we put there. So it's really just sort of a waste of recharge and time and everything. Seeing how I'm already spending a lot of time replacing plants anyways. The problem is these guys on the top aren't really at the best angle for things. I'm just tempted just to replace like this and this with uh with uh, repeaters, like that would maybe be better. This is the last round though, so if we can just survive this, we'll be totally fine. So let's put a pumpkin here. Don't even have to worry about these guys. Like I'm more worried about the non-catapult zombies at this point, so boom, getting rid of these jerks might be better. I mean, I say that, but oh, he did squish one of them there. What was that about? Maybe if he does move a little farther, I don't know. Weird, okay. Well, in the meantime, do this, and the Starfords can try to beat this guy up a bit more as well. Just last guy, last guy, come on, boom! So there we go, there's another successful level done here. I like it, we did a fantastic job, I feel. Very, very nice. So, we're back on the roof, of course, where else would it be? And there's a Gargantua waiting for us. Another pretty simple setup. We got a repeater, cabbage pot, and a flower pot. So that makes things a lot easier to figure out. Hmm. So we could push for something a little bit more extravagant if we wanted to go ahead. Ooh, Gowling P roof sounds fun right now. Um, so why don't we try that? Like we will have a lot of interesting things going on. Let me go to the shop first off and buy some more rakes. That's a good idea. Um, potato mine. We already have the repeater, so let's go ahead and do the Gatling P. And then Torchwood. And that's really all we need because beyond the Gargantua, there really isn't too much scary stuff going on right now. Um, so if we wanted to do anything else, maybe a backup cherry bomb in case they throw a lot more gargantuas than expected, and if we want really for fun, let's go ahead and do something like this. Uh, because there's no bungee zombies as far as I can see. There's no really metallic zombies, anything that would be magnetized. So I think this is our best bet. Let's go for it. Uh, I probably forgot something incredibly crucial, but in the meantime, let's just not worry about it. So I do want to leave the space in the back for the cabbage pulch, which we will set up first. I mean, I guess after the potato mines and stuff and the sunflowers, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I need you to produce sun so I can go ahead and do this. There definitely is like a lot more sun popping up in the roof levels, I feel. Definitely, well look at how often it falls from the sky, it's crazy. Okay, so you're just gonna get hit by a rake, so I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to play it on the safe side and produce as much sun as possible as soon as possible. Um, just because I don't know how soon they're gonna throw a Gargantua. This is a three flag instead of a four, so they might end up sh you know, it showing up sooner. Um, the hard stuff is definitely gonna show up sooner if we have less flags, so lots of pressure going on here, and I'm just trying to make sure everything is gonna work. Come on, one more sun, one more sun. Who's gonna do it, who's gonna do it? It's gonna be this guy. There we go. Do, 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 do. All right, so we're doing everything we can with this. I feel like we're doing all right. Do need to set up another potato mine there, so might as well get started with that. Ready? Bloop, perfect. All right, so. I could start with cabbage, pul cabbage pulse soon as well. That's looking like my next big step. Okay, so we can even upgrade sunflowers. I'm like, that's actually going by real fast, which is great, because they have a super long recharge time, which is why I wanted to try the twins. Definitely want to do a potato mine for that guy on the bottom. Might be a little bit of work to do, though. Uh, in the meantime, 
do that. Potato mine, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, ready? Boop, bop, beep. Yeah, okay. So where's the next zombie gonna show up? I'm gonna hit him with a cabbage bolt. Three rows of sunflowers should get me everything I need. We'll start eliminating some when I uh, need more twins, or well, when I have more twins, because at that point, can on, pop up, please pop up. Thank you for being the best. Oh, I really appreciate that. That could have turned out nasty without the, you know, the right circumstance, so always good to see it work out. Okay, so for now, we don't really need any of the sunflowers anymore. We just need the twins, which are about to pop up. Ready, set, boom. I think another potato mine for you is in order. A potato mine of mine. <laughs> you know, it's it's mine, I own it. Get it? Okay, that was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Anyways, let's keep going with the split peas. I could even jump into a Gatling pea already, but I don't feel like that's the best idea. Instead, let's just try to make things a little bit more safe. We're about to hit our first flag. Okay, so I need a little bit more sun here if I wanna get another split pea, there we go. Almost got another flower pot up. Got it. Got it. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I like it. So far, today's episode, hey, there has been some challenging points, but overall, we've made it through. I feel like I've just been happy with our performance overall with uh, New Game Plus. I thought it might have been a lot more of a struggle, but ended up being not so bad, and you guys gave me some awesome advice and like things to try along the way as well. Lots of you were letting me know that, oh my, hold on, I gotta deal with this as fast as I can. But um, a lot of you were letting me know that the Wisdom Tree's 1,000 foot reward isn't much of a reward, it's just another cheat code. So I don't think I'm gonna be going for that. I'll showcase it in the final bonus episode, because there will be a final bonus episode, for those of you wondering. Um, it's going to be just focused on any extra stuff that I haven't done, like the Zombitar and other stuff like that. So if you're asking about that stuff, don't you worry, it's coming soon. Okay, so that's looking really good, because we're gonna upgrade like the guys behind, of course, the uh, Torchwoods to be Gatling Peas. So they're gonna be shooting out four Flaming Peas, which is just an amazing amount. It's gonna take a while because of how long they take to recharge, but it's worth the wait for sure. And that's really the most of our strategy. I mean, once again, Crazy Dave really gave us some great stuff to work with here. Um, we're gonna start replacing some of these forward-facing, or I guess like closer to the action sunflowers. We're gonna give them and we're gonna replace them with more cabbage bolts soon enough. Not now, because I can still use more sun as I'm building up my twin sunflowers and my uh, other stuff, my torchwoods. But it's getting there for sure. We're making some major progress with everything. Ready, torchwoods, we got all the torchwoods we need. So at this rate, everything's having such a hard time getting to us. We can get some, oh, perfect placement as well. We can get some backup uh, potato mines. How amazing is that? So this guy, I don't know if he'll even make it. But let's be extra sure he doesn't. That's not what I wanted to do. That was the wrong thing. Did not mean to place that. Well, he's gonna eat through it anyways. Might as well make it something. Oh, ho, ho, the potato. He hit the potato mine and exploded him. So this is a bit of a worry, is that these little guys are gonna make things difficult, but that's why I wanna start replacing these sunflowers with, of course, cabbage bolts. So let's go ahead and get started with that as soon as I physically can. Uh, and in the meantime, there really isn't too much more I can do, so let's just keep at it. Because it does seem like it's a little bit of a mistake to get the potato mines out here because they're just gonna get squished by the gargantuars. Uh, they're just a little too close to them is all. Okay, so we're doing pretty nicely. It's just a matter of waiting for the, 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 re, the recharge for uh, the Gatling P, which I think the best spot for him now is going to be here. There we go. So we have three out of the five, only two more left to go. So that's about 500 sun worth. But we're earning. A lot of sun as well, so it's not that big of a sweat. With the twin sunflowers on our side, nothing's impossible. But yeah, we've already got right into one jar gargantuar. I can't pronounce things correctly, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I wonder what else we might bump into. I mean, two gargantuars, three? That might happen. I don't think you can run into a giga in story mode. A giga gargantuar, you can only do that in endless. So uh, don't think we're gonna see that. There's not even a spot on the almanac. That's another thing we'll do in our final bonus episode is go through all the almanac and read all the descriptions and go over all of that. So if you've been waiting for any of that kind of sort of side stuff, stay tuned to the final bonus episode because there's at least two more episodes after this before we get to the final bonus episode. We should have one more episode focused on getting the Vase Breaker achievement, one more episode focused on getting the I Zombie achievement. Here's another gargantuar, and then, you know, let's see if we can't beat you up before 
boom, there we go, perfect, before you throw your imp. Because that's, that's honestly a worse deal for us. Maybe a bit of a mistake, because there's just gonna be another Gargantuar, and beyond that is that, uh, don't know if that's gonna do anything, probably not. Um, beyond that is that there's another huge wave coming up, so hopefully that cherry bomb restores soon. But you know what, if I could just distract you, gosh darn it, that's not what I meant. Come on, get rid of him, there's triple cabbage pole on you. You should, you should think that'd be enough to get rid of you before you do much. All right, so a huge wave of zombies is approaching. We need a couple more seconds for a cherry bomb, so hopefully that works out just fine, but we're about to find out together. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot that I can still do more Gatling peas. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so we do got a Gargantua right there. We do have, oh my, you know what? I didn't want to have to do this. Oh gosh, I can't do it. Oh no, it's fine. Gatling peas got it covered. He's amazing, he's perfect, he's wonderful. Boom, bam, got him. See ya, Gargantua, see ya, imp. Don't have to deal with ya. That was perfect. Wonderfully, wonderfully perfect. All right, so we're on the roof still. Where else would it be? Wow, you got the whole party going on here. Bungie zombies, gargantuars, catapult zombies, coneheads, brown coats, jack in the box zombies, ladder zombies. I say catapult, well they're here. Oh my gosh, this one's not gonna be easy. That is stressful. Is this 5'8 or 5'9? Uh, this is 5-9. So this is the last one before the final boss. No wonder it's tough. Ooh. This has me nervous. Like, I honestly don't know if this is actually possible. Like, it seems crazy, right? Um, especially with these three. Like, that's actually not too bad. This might be one of the few where I'm tempted just, like, to place in a star fruit and that's it. Like, don't actually use the star fruit because... I need to be on the safe side here. I need to be able to get a flower pot out. I need to be able to get potato mines. I need to be able to get, I think I need to get the magnet shroom combo. I think it would be helpful because we do have bucket heads and we do have ladder zombies. So if I could do now, oh man. Mmm. I might have to bypass the potato mine, try to go right to the cabbage pole. Because to get the magnet, I need to do, where is he, where is he? Uh, here, I need to do that and also have the umbrella. This is not going to be easy, no matter which way you put this here, and I need more firepower than just a cabbage pole kernel pole. When it comes to dealing with gargantuars and, gar and uh, catapult zombies and stuff, I, and bucket heads too, I need more than these two, even with the star fruit. I mean, maybe not, maybe we could just have a wall of star fruit, and then we could go potato mine, play it real safe that way. Maybe, this might just work. It might be awful and we might fail this and then I'll have to redo it and that'll be a pain in the booty, but we'll find out. This is, no matter what, going to be really challenging. Can't wait for the first zombie to show up to find out uh, how many flags we have to go through. The more flags, the better. It might take longer, but keep in mind that also that means that we'll have more time to prepare. That's almost always how it is. Usually they gradually bump it up. Sometimes they don't. Okay, we do have four flags, so that's sort of the best possible thing. I don't think there's ever been a level with five. And if there was, it would be this level, right? <laughs> so, uh, so far, so good. Pumping out the sun, we got a rake to do its thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab an extra sun, do that, put a potato mine here, just like that. Try to get two more sun in front of the sunflower, come on. Who's it gonna be? This and that, good job. Okay, so another zombie is probably gonna show up soon. Very soon, so I gotta be ready for that too, but only so much I can do. Only so much. So I'm probably gonna make a huge host of sunflowers, of course. So we're probably gonna push for a third lane here. But in the meantime, I do need to get set up in some potato mines. But I do have some leftover sun, so I just need to wait for this to restore. Potato mine there, sunflower here, wait for another, and then do that. That'll probably be good. So yeah, I think this might work. It's not gonna be easy, I can say that much, but we got a cabbage pole ready, so I don't need to rush into a potato mine this next zombie. It's gonna be here, and then, okay. So we have a bit of an option on what I wanna do. I think we'll just put the kernel pole there, and then do this, not bad, not bad. And then once I get another sun, perfect. Okay, so things are going pretty well. Like, they're going pretty productively. I just gotta keep at it. Get a kernel pole here, just, I'm trying to, you know, balance out, get as much firepower out as soon as possible. We're making some really good sun with it too. So like I feel like it's working. It just takes even more time than what we've already put into it. But here, I guess, is where we can start putting some other stuff as well. Like it just gets messy, you know? It's crazy. Um 
it's not gonna be easy no matter which way we put this. So cabbage pulp for you because we don't have anything for you yet. That's sort of dangerous. Try to change that up now. Okay, um. So we'll get this here, that there, and then finally we need one more kernel pulp. Come on, oh, buttered him, but I need you to butter this guy quickly. Butter him up, butter him up, butter him up. Oh boy. Okay, so you should be able to get rid of him, right? Yes, perfect, but we had to lose the Colonel Pult, which is just minus 100 sun, basically. That stinks, but only so much I can do. So at this rate, if I wanna play it safe, this is where I'm gonna do this and then put another one there once I need to, which isn't quite yet. It's now, though. So we just need one, ooh, it is tough. We might just have some like open, vulnerable sunflowers here because I'd rather have them here. So like these guys are gonna be protected. Not the biggest deal, Nord. Please butter him, thank you, thank you. So I'm actually going to star fruit this guy if I can manage. Like this might actually damage him. Perfect, you guys got rid of him. So proud, so proud. So things are getting scary quick. I can say that much. So I need to umbrella this here. That's a big thing. Um, And then we'll probably put Magnet, magnet, magnet. So it's not gonna be many star fruit at first, that's for sure. But it'll be worthwhile. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Isn't that just splendid? And I need to be able to get at least one magnet shroom out. I mean, we have a lot of sun, but balancing it all out has not been easy. Now, I'd like to not get rid of any of my sunflowers just yet with how much more we still need to do. But if I could get like some other stuff out too, that'd be great. So those guys back there are gonna be protected. It seems like they these guys always shoot for the back end, so either put some flowers there or protect it. Our choice. Uh, for right now, it's protecting it. It's sort of the best idea. Okay, so the star fruit are getting to work. Magnet shroom is in a little bit of danger. Yeah, we got butter though. Perfect, so that guy's gonna get bounced as well. And then at this rate, I mean, I guess I did mess up my strategy for these guys. I wanted to have three of them. So I might have to shift that over time, but for now what I could do is just get another star fruit out and just sort of make things work as well as I can for as long as I can. Um, oh my, so stressful. So stressful indeed. I need to do this, I need to do another star fruit. We've fully utilized Crazy Dave's picks. Can't complain about that. We did a great job with it. So far, I mean, things could still go up in flames any moment. That's why I wanna start replacing some of these sunflowers with, oh my, oh my, see this is why we need three of them. Oh, that's why we really need three of them. So at this rate, if you're already gone, I might as well do this. Got it. Okay, so, cabbage pole, sun, very good. So yeah, what I need to do here is, no, that's not what I wanted, dang it. <laughs> what a waste, what a waste. Waste of 50 sun. Luckily, it's not the biggest amount of sun ever. Could have accidentally put down something more expensive, but it's still silly of me. Okay, so, at this rate, like I don't have too much protection for these plants, so making a lot of sun is really high priority, which is why it's dangerous that I'm replacing something. Like, that's sort of the hard part about this strategy is that there's no, like absolutely no damage output, but there's also, I mean, there is damage output, but there isn't much, you know, and I didn't really mean to put this here, that was a mistake. Um, I need that to be a magnifying, not a magn magnification, magnet room, you know what I mean, magnetizing. Still can't believe I'm getting that messed up somehow, because I'm a dingus. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. This guy will not get run over where he is right there, so that's good. He, they will get sucked up by bungee zombies, but honestly, that really isn't too big of a stress. I'm gonna try to just protect, you know, the magnet shrooms with that. So that's what I'm working for, towards right now, and also getting more cabbage pulps out, and then maybe replacing this last line with kernel pulps or something might be good as well. Got it, okay. So you're gonna get bounced. So far, so decent. Like, it, it isn't too bad. Like, this guy's eating through some stuff. That's sort of, you know, the least of my worries comparatively. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our last cabbage pult here for the second line of those. Maybe getting more kernel pults would be great because this is a higher chance of buttering them up. That would be nice. Go ahead and do that. And another Zen Garden plant, second one of the day. Can't wait to find out what it is at the end of today's episode. Okay, God, no, that's not what I wanted. I was gonna say I got it, but then I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not get it because I put that, that flower pot in the wrong place. Okay. 
that's that's a decent amount of star fruits. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and yeah, just five and five. The other five is just zigzagged. So yeah, I could start since I do have a fair amount of sun doing this, and that might be an okay idea. I mean, it's more firepower, which is really important, and they might get gobbled up by the bungee zombies at some point, but it's worth it for the extra firepower, I think. Okay, so far so decent. Once again, we still have so much more to deal with that we haven't quite seen gargantuars are the biggest worry. Look, what am I gonna do about that? Just hope, just gotta, just gotta hope that it won't get in. And speaking of which, here he is. So if we can butter him, if we could just find a way to butter him really quickly, that'd be great, butter that dude up. And everything else is just, like I said, just hoping that the correct damage lands at the right time and really hope he doesn't throw a, Oh, he was about to as well. He was about to throw. No, 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 he wasn't. He was about to smash that star fruit. Jeez, it's tough. It's so tough. This is where I wish I had like 11 or 12 seed slots because I would utilize every single one of them really well. But unfortunately, you don't get that. It'd be cool if there was like some kind of custom game mode where you had like 20 and you just had to click and drag. You know, like did sort of shift through them all. Or maybe it was like 12 or two like really tiny rows of them. So it's easy to misclick and that's the challenge. I don't know, there's like cool ideas like that. So many cool ideas you can have for this game. It's awesome. So it looks like this damage is gonna be done. But we've already survived the first three major flags. So if we could just hold on tight to the fourth one and make sure no lawnmowers get taken until then, will be pretty decent, things will be going well. The problem now is I get like next to no sun input, so it's gonna be really hard to heal over any kind of damage that's been done at this point. And that is scary, like what what to do about that? Really, I don't know. There's just not enough room on the field. <laughs> like there straight up isn't, it's crazy. And these three little sunflowers aren't gonna do enough for me. All right, so are those guys gonna get, oh, they're gonna get taken away, I'm so sorry. You stink, Mr. Bungie Zombie. You, you smell bad. Okay, well, what's the most important thing to replace at the moment? It's gonna be that Colonel Pult whenever he does get eaten, because he will, because I know this game too well, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's not enough, there's not enough. Okay, so that Gargantua is gone. That's good. I need to put a flower pot there, and then I need another 125 sun for another star fruit. Like, jeez, Louise, it never ends. I just need to get, I just need you to explode, and then we'll be good. We'll have the huge flag. So at this point, as long as those zombies hit the lawnmowers, we will survive, because the lawnmowers will go over and defeat everything else, and that would be beautiful. So let's just hope, 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 that's what happens. There is a gargantuan where he immediately got buttered. Everything that could try to get bungeed in, of course, got taken away, and that's fantastic. I'm gonna try to distract this zombie for as long as possible this gargantua with some flower pots. He's holding another zombie, which is interesting. Okay, it's just a gargantua now. Just distract him for as long as possible. Maybe he won't, yes, he got butter. Everybody just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. As much as you can. There really isn't too many people here to beat him up. Most of our defensive have been destroyed. So just keep on attacking this stuff. Yep, you're doing a great job. Oh, ho, 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 no, don't do it. Don't do it, no. Oh, you stinker. Come on, this guy has to be low. He's buttered again. He's buttered again. That's all I wanted. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. All the star fruit are going for him, except for this guy for some reason. Yes, we did it. Nice. We didn't even have to lose any of the lawnmowers or the roof cleaners or whatever they are. Are there really roof cleaners in real life? I've never seen that before. Edgar Zomboss, Dr. Edgar Zomboss, is here to fight us for the second time. I guess technically the third time because of the mini game boss fight rematch. Better get ready, it's gonna be a heck of a fight. Listen though, I know what his weakness is. You have to hit him in the pancreas, no, 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 okay. And then he gets eaten by you. Dun, 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 the bungee zombie being a jerk again. All right, well, there we have it. Let's fight this dude. Or not. Um. Okay, there he is. For a second I thought that was like, it's, he doesn't show up. Okay, so let's see how much more difficult this is. It's level 510. I'm gonna wait until I need it, but there we go. Oh boy, this boss fight, man. This boss fight, it never gets easy. It never does. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit more handleable. I feel like I didn't have too much of a hard time with it in the minigame version, which is confirmed to be a more difficult version. Um, a lot of people were surprised. They said I handled it really well. Okay, so we're just gonna set the flower pots wherever we can for right now. We're just gonna build those out. Get a cabbage pulp there. 
this cone head might be a bit of a problem. They do put out the zombies pretty far. Usually, of course, the zombies start from back there, but now they start from here, which is just added to the difficulty. He's throwing out a lot of cabbage pulse to start this off. I am tempted to freeze these dudes, but maybe not the best idea. I don't know yet. Okay, you don't want to freeze them, because that's just so many cone heads. Okay, so we got our friends here. You better not spot, spit out a fireball. Okay, now you can spit out the fireball. Boom, hit you like that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You are gonna spit out the firebomb. Thank goodness I had this. Get this guy out as soon as possible. Throw at him, sure, why not? Okay, we made some things work there. Took some effort, for sure, but we made it work. Awesome. Oh, I'm stressed about this. This is gonna be not so easy, for sure. Okay, so we got another melon pole, and I'm actually gonna put him here. I think that'd be good for our current setup. We're gonna do like a, a zigzag with it. I guess, for now, I mean, what else can we do? I've only done a tiny little bit to his health, but I feel like they're giving us way less plants than they normally do. So like, can you really blame me? So I can't use too much yet. I gotta hold on tight. Gotta hold on real tight. Okay, so perfect, let's go ahead and do this, and then boom, we're gonna freeze him, and then put Colonel Pulp there, and then hit him with another jalapeno, boom! That did some decent damage to him, I like that. Okay, put that there, put this here, put that there. Nice stuff, no, no, not the melon pult, I needed him! Oh, okay, no, I guess my perspective was wrong there. I thought he was getting rid of the melon pult. Thank goodness he did not. Okay, so we do have a gargantua. I'm just gonna do that here. I really need to butter this dude if we can. We are definitely not getting as much plants as you normally get in this boss fight. It is really challenging. Okay, oh, there goes our Colonel pult. Don't you dare, sir. Don't you dare, I'm gonna freeze you. Oh my, oh my indeed. This is bad, this is real bad. I need to be able to freeze you like this, boom. It's funny how much damage it looks like he's taken when he's not really taken much. There's really not too much I can do here except for, uh, do this. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, that was a mistake. Okay, okay, save it, boom! Not bad, not bad. This is so challenging. They're giving us so much more stuff to deal with than they normally do. Like usually you have tons more than this when it comes to, uh. You know, uh, what's it called? Like ice rooms and jalapenos and stuff, so this is insane. I need a flower pot for over here. That'd be the most preferred thing. You know what, if we have three of these guys, I can freeze them up a little bit. I can afford to do that. Uh, do that there. I, I need to make sure that the ladder zombie doesn't cause too much of havoc here. Okay, got a pole vaulter, shouldn't be too bad. I can even just do that, get it out of the way. Got another jalapeno, perfect. Not too many zombies to deal with here. Actually, this is fine. This might be one of the easiest yet. Okay, so what are you gonna spit out? That's sort of the big thing. Okay, so you get an ice ball, boom, hit you like that, freeze you up a little bit so we can just throw a lot of damage to you, and uh, yeah, keep it like that. We're halfway through now. Halfway through his health. Level progress, making its way through. Got another melon pulled. I think I'm going to hold on, because I think he's gonna throw an RV. Yep, there it is, caught it! <laughs> Saw it a mile away. I mean, that's sort of still a shame because there's not too much I can do about it. Ooh, okay, at least he put him in a spot where it isn't too bad to deal with him. Like, if he put him down up here, I would be so upset. Luckily, that's not the case. Okay, we're getting a lot of ice rooms now. I sort of need to recover this top lane, though, so if you could give me some stuff for that, too, that'd be great. Okay, so this is a problem. Let's freeze you again, boom. Oh, that was, that was scary. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two, and then do this, and then do that. I mean, if we save up three jalapenos, that'll be a lot of damage towards him real soon if we do it right. So that's what I want to do, is save up as many jalapenos as possible, especially if you can just duck his head down now, which I think he's about to do. Please do, please do, please do, please do, please do, please do. If I can get them both taken out at once, it'd be great, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Uh, dang it, and he was just about to put his face down too. What a stinker. If I put it up here, that does do damage to him as if it you know, hit his face. That's pretty good. Oh, I really hope I don't need another ice room, because if so, that's a bad deal. That's a real bad deal I just made. Um, it's not. Okay, thank goodness. Let's go ahead and do this, and then hit him. And then I might want to save this last one. He is so low, though. If we can get a couple more jalapenos, we can definitely win the next time he, he puts his head down. No! Oh, I hate that! <laughs> I always forget. Except for the time I didn't. That's what made me so happy, is I didn't forget, finally. And now I forgot this time. Uh, it seems like it's impossible to predict where it's gonna be, though. Okay, that guy's gonna be tough. I think I might have to ice room him. Oh, we got a couple of them. Why didn't that freeze you? Hold on, hold on, why didn't it freeze him? Dude, are you serious? 
Wait, 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 okay, thank goodness. He just barely got taken out there, but it didn't freeze him, it didn't like, freeze him in place. That was sort of bogus. Okay, got rid of that guy, that's nice. We're gonna do something like this. Okay, Gargantua coming in. What else do we have? That. We really could win here if we could get just a couple more jalapenos. That's really what I need. So let's hope for it. Uh, Melon pull it, put it here. Sure, why not? Freeze him again. Okay, there we go, there we go, ready? Boom, I gotta save for whatever crazy, you know, ball of fire or ice he's gonna spit out. He's gonna spit out the fire, so I'm glad I waited. So boom, do that, that's gonna hurt him. Not quite winning this round then. I really wanted to, I really, oh, it's getting close though. What if I freeze him again? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's so close. Did that get him? Oh, we're so close, that's not fair. Ah, oh, look at him, he's blinking. That's how low on health he is. He's about to fall apart, he's at the seams. That is so crazy. If we could just hit him once with like one little cabbage pole or kernel corn thing, we'd be fine, we'd win. It'd be beautiful. It'd be time for celebration. So let's just get to that part. Let's survive all this zombie nonsense, gargantuaros, catapults, newspapers, it's all nonsense. Got it, okay, let's get another guy there so we can deal with that a little bit more. All right, now I just need more firepower. That's another flower pot. Not firepower. Flower power pot, maybe. I don't know, silly joke. Okay, so he got buttered, that's actually really good, because that way he should be able to get taken out before it's a problem. You though, you're a major problem. I might have to jalapeno you. Or we could just wait for him to lower himself just like this, ready, oh! No, that missed, did that not land? Hold on, there we go, get out of here, yes! We did it, we defeated New Game Plus. Oh my gosh. And we just get money for it. Three diamonds though, not so bad, so we don't get the trophy this time. That's fine. <laughs> You beat me, take my money. Okay, you win, no marine brain for us. We just want to music video, to make music video with it. you now, so shall we? the zombies. We've already seen it, if you haven't seen it, make sure you go back to the previous episode to check it out. I don't wanna sit through the entire credits right now. But man, that is awesome! So, like I said before, we only have a couple more things left to do. Two achievements, to be specific. Next episode, we will try to get the, I guess we'll get the better off dead. Get a, get to a streak of 10 in I, Zombie, Endless. That's gonna be tough, but we take a look, we've only ever, oh, wrong one. We've only ever gotten to seven. And what's even harder is the other one, which is getting to a streak of 15 in Vase Breaker Endless, which if we take a look, we've only gotten to four. Oh no, I got that flipped, but you know what I mean. <laughs> It'll take some work, but in the meantime, I'll do one last thing in today's episode. I'll be finding out what Zen Garden plants we got, because hopefully we got something cool. We gotta wait for them to be ready to grow. You know, for these guys, I can play some music for them, get some cash for it, that'll be nice. Very, very nice. There we go. So I don't, I don't really know if I wanna grow him up anymore, that uh, Tree of Wisdom. I'll definitely showcase, because I think that the cheat codes are always unlocked, you just don't really know about them. But we'll go over everything you can unlock with the Tree of Wisdom after this point on the bonus episode as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that bonus episode, it'll be chock full of a lot of stuff, but we got two more episodes to go for the, the Vegas Breaker and the Eye Zombie, so lots of work going on, don't you worry. So uh, we do have some full groans going on, I think. Well, actually, I gotta water this guy up top here. Some of these guys definitely need to be grown a little bit more. Uh, but we do have two of these guys fully grown, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one, 8,000 for a walnut, sounds good to me. Uh, go ahead and do this one as well, there we go. But we do have these three that need to be grown up a bit more, but once they do, that'll be great. But yeah, that should be good, just gotta keep these guys growing, get them ready for when they wanna sprout. Looks like you need a little bit more water. Okay, but you don't, what are you gonna be? Cabbage pole, I think our first. Yeah, looking like our first ever cabbage pult. So it was a roof plant. The other one's probably gonna be a roof plant as well. We don't have a kernel pult, so if we could get that, that'd be amazing. Let's find out another garlic. Yay, we're gonna sell this one then because it's not even facing the correct orientation. Uh, yeah, though, that was awesome. I had a lot of fun in today's episode. So glad we are done, New Game Plus. We could start it again and again if we wanted to, but I don't. <laughs> With all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies.
If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zombot Zebra so that you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.